you guys see that eclipse? I was looking at it for way too long. What's poppin' everybody? Episode 24. Let's go. The ladies in Funko News Entertainment and Sports. Let's mm. jump right into Funko updates. This week, uh, Funko Shop exclusive for WWE. There's actually a few because it was WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, Sami Zayn. My, did I pronounce that right? Perfect. Cool. Uh, I don't watch enough wrestling to, to get that right, but I'm in. Funko Shop exclusive, so that was cool. Cool. Also, a Fanatics exclusive final boss, The Rock, from mm -hmm. WrestleMania 40 yep. in that shirt. <laughs> yeah. just, just screams douche. Yeah. I love it. I love heel rock. Anyway, uh, that is, you could uh, pre order it from Fanatics or on the Funko Shop. So you got yeah. the, it's cool they're doing that, but you got yeah. you gotta pump them out, right? They uh, I guess you would, yeah, but you wouldn't know what is he gonna wear. No, and, no, 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 no. Like no. so, I know, but you can't just be like, we should probably get on this pop, eh? No, yeah. you gotta get on it now. Like uh, I think that they are shipping August, is what I read on the Funko Shop. Yeah, so that seems about right. A little, <laughs> a little bit from now. So six months from now. Also, a Fanatics exclusive two pack of the Usos. Uh, there, this actually, I read it was from WrestleMania 39, but it's mm. a new Fanatics two pack exclusive. Sure. Also available on the Funko Shop. Cool. The Funko Shop also dropped a new exclusive. You're going to be shocked by this. Mm -hmm. It's anime. Shocker. Demon Slayer. Mm -hmm. uh, Tenjin Uzui. Uzui in Kimono. Now, if there's anything that you love, I know it's chicken wings mm -hmm. and kimonos. Your kimono yeah. um, collection yeah. is extensive. My New Year's Eve is me eating chicken wings in a kimono. <laughs> in a kimono. Like, that's like... Yeah. <sighs> if you've never seen a closet full of silk shorty robes like this this man, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. And I, by the way, nothing else on. <laughs> no, you got to go... It's like a kilt. No. If you got a kimono on, you are going commando. No. Sometimes... You're going to see more than you want. <laughs> or sometimes you want to see what you want or to see. You might want to see it. Yeah, we'll see it. Yeah. Funko Shop also shared some other retailer exclusives this week. A Hot Topic uh, exclusive Panic at the Disco sure. Pop album. Cool. As well as a Hot Topic exclusive Hello Kitty with Red Bow. All right. Whatever. I know you're excited. Yeah. But it also comes with a chase. Who it's cares? called Mimi. Who cares? With a yellow bow. Yeah. The people who like. Hello Kitty care. So the only the only difference is a different color bow? And it's a different character, though. It's, oh. it's Mimi, not, oh, Mimi, not Kitty. Yeah, well. Yeah, the chase is Mimi with yellow bow. I equally don't care. Uh, Target shared the X-Men 97 8-Bit Pops. We did a whole show about it on Thursday. Yeah. You got to check out. Yeah. The box launch upside down Spider-Man with the hot dog. That's cool. That's very cool. That's cool. I'll give you that one. And box launch was running a... Uh, promotion, so they were thirty percent off on the day of the launch. So that was pretty sweet. I don't know why they do that on new. I stuff. don't know why you do yeah, that because yeah. everyone wanted this. They new wanted a full price. You know, uh, these two last things uh, I think are really going to get you fired up. Awesome. Number one, Funko coloring books. <laughs> really, Harry Potter on Amazon. Can I get a lead startup, please? <laughs> Whatever. And the other one. So are they only available on Amazon? <laughs> I, I don't know. They're they're currently available on Amazon. I'm sure they're available in other places. Well, that's but probably in the deal that, when they sold all their games and stuff. That's also possible because they did offload all, right, that's fine. That's fine. all the fine. Funko games puzzles to that other company. That's fine. So that the coloring books could have been a part of that. Okay. Anyway, that's not that big of a deal. The next can't one can't cost that much to do a coloring book. The next one, yeah, I think you're gonna like. Go. Funko has there was a there was a teaser mm -hmm. on Instagram of a Funko arcade machine that dispenses Funko Pops, playing a game, and it's only twelve thousand dollars. Just just that, and that's just to make the machine. What twelve thousand U.S. dollars? For a Funko arcade machine that will be in movie theaters in America. What? <laughs> How are they going to stock that? I don't know. But if we go, when we go actually to Cineplex, yeah. there are Funko Pop, movie theaters carry Funko Pops. A lot yeah. of them do. 
So I would assume that the staff will stock those pops in the machine. No, the staff are going to steal all the good ones <laughs> is what's going to happen. Like, I don't think there's going to be good ones in the arcade machine. Then who gives a <laughs> Yeah, but it's for kids. All right. But still, uh, price tag, $12,000. Only $12,000. And who, who pays for that? Uh, I would assume the theaters do. So is it going to be like a claw? No, it, there's pictures online. It's, it's almost one of those ones that has the items, and you can like pick, and then it like slides up. and drops down, which will damage the box. <laughs> so it's like you're just buying a Pepsi at fucking Costco. <laughs> kind of, kind of. There'll be a game involved in some way. It's an arcade game, but we'll see. You look at the. You'll you'll see it. You'll see it. This sounds amazing. Also coming soon. We should put all our money into this. All of it. Yeah. Lean startup. Yeah. Uh, also coming soon, you're not going to believe it. We got mm. more Snoop Dogg pops. I, I, I think we might be hitting. We might be hitting a wall. We might be hitting a wall, Snoop Dogg. I was actually so excited for the first Snoop Dogs mm -hmm. and those Doghouse exclusives. Yeah. The the pop album, mm -hmm. even the 10 inch Snoop Dogg. Yeah. All the first run Snoop Dogs, I'm in. Yeah. But then I feel like we're hitting a wall. We're hitting a wall with. With Snoop Dogg, like how many more? These there's two more coming now. It's too many. What about Cool Modi? That would be good. You know, I wouldn't mind Cool Modi. You know, yeah. Let's do some. Let's do some let's OG do rappers. Else. You know, let's do something else. Let's, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, it's too. It's too much. Snoop. We love Snoop. Everyone loves. Snoop. Everyone loves Snoop. He's like the most loved guy around. But it's yeah. too many Snoop. Too many Snoop. I think that's one or seven too many Snoop pops. Probably seven too many. The Cure Pop album Disintegration was announced. Sure. Michael Jordan, hold on, 12-inch gold figure. <laughs> no. No. You're talking to two Michael, huge Michael uh, Jordan fans. This man collects Jordans like crazy. I hate those gold figures. I love Michael Jordan, but I hate gold figures. I hate gold figures. So 12-inch gold with uh, a chase, white jersey. Yeah. What do you mean white jersey? Uh Commons red, Chase is white. So it's gold, but the jerseys are red? Well, gold figure. The gold, like the yeah. friggin' gold figures. But yeah, the, but the gold figure they already have out, He's it's all gold. No. Yeah, it is. No, the gold figure, like the the gold brand the of Funko. It's not a cold. Oh, the gold. It's not a color. Oh, I thought you meant like. Oh, no, the gold. I thought the you meant, stupid. you know what they did, the gold ones? No, no, no. Oh, the gold gold. Gold. Oh, that's even more stupid yeah i hate those so things. like yeah the the biggies like the music and sports. oh the gold 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 figure oh those are dumb why so are they why are they inch, why are they still doing those nobody buys them nobody does 12 inch gold yeah michael jordan oh like yeah that, I, I thought you meant you know how they did the jordan the, the foot locker was it fanatics or it was a uh, wasn't that it was a bronze it was a bronze yeah oh this is gold that was bronze like not literally the color gold the funko gold i thought they were stopping gold <laughs> Well, now they got a Jordan coming. Oh, it's Jordan, so, but it's still dumb. And it'll be a Chase red jersey, uh, white jersey, common 12 inch gold red jersey. Very excited about it. Nobody Donald, cares. Donald Duck 90th anniversary. We knew we talked about mm. pops coming this year for Donald 90. Yeah. But there's an exclusive uh, to the Disney shop that will be sepia. Sepia. Yeah. Or like that um, Dorothy we just got from the Funko shop. I can tell, again, you're super excited about this. Maybe this will excite you. All right. The last on our list for Funko News this week, mm -hmm. they showed, they revealed the redeemables for My Little Pony NFT Pops. Great. <laughs> I can only imagine they broke the internet. <laughs> I will tell you this. Yeah. The one thing I was excited about, and I think we speculated this on our last NFT show, okay. was that hopefully they don't do... 70,000 packs and all this stuff, right? Yeah, well, they're not. So they actually cut back. They're yeah. doing four redeemables, not six. Okay. Four, the six has been the s standard. Okay. Four, and they're only doing um, 17,000 packs. That's, that's about it. That's, that's about the right number. Eight and a half standard, eight and a half premium. That's the right number. They'll probably still burn some, but that's the right they number. Might. That's but the right they number. Did low number, yeah, and only four redeemables, not six. So I will give Funko props for going. Okay, maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't make sixty thousand. Mm. Were the redeemables cool? They're My Little Pony. All right, so there, so, you, there go. you go. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> and in entertainment, yeah, let's go. Godzilla X Kong did it again. Yeah, another thirty-one million. 
They're doing uh, two weeks in a row at number one. Killing it. Yeah, B-Money liked it. My yep. son went to go see it. Yep, everybody's liking it. Good CGI. Yep. $365 million worldwide. $135 million budget. Nice. You know what that means? What's that? We're going to get Kong out the ass. We're going to get... <laughs> We're going to get another one. We're going to get yeah, Kong, gonna... Kong, Kong, Kong. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Every year is going to be a Kong Godzilla movie. Maybe the next one will be a rom-com. Maybe. That'd be rom- nice. Rom-com, rom-com Kong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't see why not. That makes sense to me. Okay. Uh, Monkey Man came in second. Yeah. Which is pretty amazing. $10 million. We were talking about Not amazing, that. but it looks really good. So I shouldn't say it's amazing. It looks well, really good. Well, we were talking about it on last yeah. week's show. It opened in second place to... Yeah. Uh, very popular movie right now. So Dev yep. Patel, Dev Patel is killing it. Wrote, directed, stars in it. It yep. looks great. Yep. Good for him that it opened in second place. Yep. So yeah. And Ghostbusters: Frozen Empire came in third. Yeah. Another uh, nine million. Yeah, it'll stay heard, in that. Top I've heard mixed bit. things about it, yeah. but I mean, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna in. watch it for nostalgia purposes. Yeah. At some point. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. And uh, the first Omen opened in fourth at 8.3 million. It's horror. It's horror. Right? Like, so it's going to make some... there's horror in the theater, yeah. it just go. It always makes money. You know yeah. why? Why? It's because all the guys going on first dates. You take a girl to you a horror movie. You take to a horror movie. You protect her. And you just hope that she gets really scared. Yeah, you get scared. And she grabs your junk. And on the knee. Oh, you went junk. You okay. go right junk. All right, you go. mix. You want her. I didn't her. know that. You think <laughs> if it's a romantic comedy, she's going to go for the knee. Right? Gotcha. But in a horror, she could miss, hit your junk. Accidentally. Got it. Yeah, that's what you hope for. <laughs> that's a move. <laughs> I didn't know that. You didn't know I mean, that? I didn't know that. You no. got to subscribe to my website. All right. All right. Uh, this <laughs> Dating, week at, first date tips. This is first date tips from K-Dog. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, boys subscribed. Oh, yeah. He's in. It's doing yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this weekend, Civil War is opening. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited for it. It looks, I, it looks the good. The trailer looked tense. Yeah, I'm into uh, it. It's even in IMAX theaters. I think it will be number one now that Godzilla's had two big runs. Yeah, I I could definitely see Civil War premiering in first place. We'll right. see. Cool. But yeah. All right. And uh, Nick Cage movie Arcadian, which I actually didn't watch. You didn't see the, the trailer? No, I didn't, but uh, you gave me a little hey, synopsis a here. What's the plot? A father and two twin teenage sons fight to survive a remote farmhouse at the end of the end of the world. Okay. So. It sounds like a Nick Cage movie to me. Let's go. You ever see the Nick Cage agent skit? No. That's so funny. Where oh, no, guy, yeah, 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 yeah. And, he, yeah. and Nick's like, before he even finishes talking, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the plot, Nick's like, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. So funny. Um, okay. This weekend, Argyle, yeah, streaming for free on Apple TV. Yeah, you can I'm also cool. rent. Uh, you can also rent or uh, buy Kung Fu Panda Four. Already, already, yeah. Wow, it's still in theaters. I want to make yeah. a little bacon. Okay, and then the Joker Two trailer dropped. I watched it. Did you see it? I did. It's it's. So interesting. I have some. I have some thoughts. There's a lot going on. When I first heard, and the first movie is amazing, mm-hmm. and Joaquin Phoenix uh, won the Oscar for Best Actor. It was an incredible performance. When I heard they were going to do a sequel, yeah. I was like, I get it. Like The first one did a billion dollars, mm-hmm. so I, I understand. Yeah. But yeah. I think that you're taking away from how good that movie was by doing a sequel. And then I heard the sequel was going to be a musical. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no. Nope. But after watching the trailer... yeah. The musical mm. takes place only in his head. And to me, that drives home the the madness that yeah. I- exists. Mm-hmm. Lady Gaga is playing Harley Quinn. Yeah. I'm like, okay, now I'm back in. I'm glad I saw the trailer because when you're saying that this sequel is going to be a musical, I'm yeah. like, Todd Phillips, you're a f***. Yeah. But this is going to work. I think this is going to work. Because if it was just straight up musical, yeah. no. But the fact that the musical only takes place in his brain. Yeah. Or hers. Yeah. Or, or hers. I think or both. Yeah. I think both. I think their their love story will be played out in the musical portions, and the rest of the real world will be going on amidst that. Mm-hmm. So I think it's smart. I think it's going to be great. Mm-hmm. And then you got a, an amazing singer with Lady Gaga playing Harley Quinn. So mm-hmm. I, I think this is going to work. Mm-hmm. I, I really was apprehensive. Lady Gaga. When I heard can about act. It. She's 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 also a good actor. Yeah. She's great. Yeah. But. I mean, when I watched it, I was like, I don't know, man. 
you got to be in the right frame of mind to watch this movie. Yeah. This isn't like... Oh, it's it's going to be yeah. disturbing. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't a first date movie. No. <laughs> this is not, you know, because you guys are going to leave the movie and she's going to be like, I just want to go home. I'm contemplating all my life choices. I just want to go home. I don't know what to think about anymore and whatever. It's like, no. I mean, whatever. If you're in the right frame of mind to yeah. watch this, it'd be great, but... Yeah, I'm on the fence. On the fence. On It'll the be fence. Interesting. But it's Todd Phillips, and he's a god. So, you know, and Joaquin's going to nail it again, and he lost another 115 pounds. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> Roughly, approximately. Yeah, like, he's 90 pounds wet. I don't even know. <laughs> like, whatever. So, anyway, yeah. Joker 2 trailer. If you mm. haven't seen it, watch it. Do it. And in sports, just a bit offside. We got to kick off about NCAA yep. because. Uh, the women's and men's uh, finals uh, were last week, mm -hmm. and two number one seeds in uh, the men's met up, mm -hmm. Purdue and uh, UConn. Mm -hmm. We actually called it. We said weeks ago that UConn was going to be the winner. They were pretty unstoppable. Uh, they were not only that they so they won. Mm -hmm. uh, final score is seventy five to sixty. They've won every single matchup. The in this year's tournament yeah. and some in last year's, yeah, because they won last year, so they yeah. repeated, yeah, by all the games were double digits or more victories. There wasn't one close win, so it wasn't know. even it wasn't even close. It was a fifteen point win. Conspiracy. Uh, they are absolute like monsters. So, all right, all right, I'll give it to. But them. I do want to give a, a shout out to Purdue center Zach Eady because mm -hmm. he scored thirty seven points out of the sixty. Uh, also had ten rebounds in the loss. Mm -hmm. He is the uh, won the Wooden Award for the top college player, and he's Canadian. He's from Toronto. Hey, all so right, I didn't know pretty, that. And he won that award back to back. Yeah, Canadians are taking over. He's a senior, watch out a senior. Yeah. Uh, the funny thing about him being Canadian, not eligible for NIL money. Can what? you believe that? Are you serious? So even though he's living and playing for this university, because he's a Canadian-born citizen, he gets nothing. Oh, that is a crock of <laughs> shit. So guess where he's headed? NBA. The NBA. <laughs> You NCAA. <laughs> also, because he's a senior and he's graduating, so oh, but he's he's huge. He can score points, and he's Canadian. What the hell? So I'm, mean, yeah, it's pretty bull. It's yeah. North America, man. I don't think it should matter because if you're residing in that state yeah. and playing and and registered as a student playing in the NCAA, it shouldn't matter. You should be entitled to NIL money. That is not. a boatload of you know. Yeah. I want to uh, say more about that actually. Well, okay, go ahead. I'm not going to though. Okay. We're going to, we're going to, um, people are going to be, it's going to be 20 <laughs> seconds of beeps. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he well, gets how, no NIO. How money. is that fair? It's not. No, it's not fair at all. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. Uh, so we're going to do a whole show about this. And uh, in the NCAA women's final, mm -hmm. Undefeated South Carolina, they were 38 0. Mm -hmm. uh, beat Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes, mm -hmm. uh, 87 to 75. The only, and they were both one seed. Yeah, as well. they're both. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that is really is that Caitlin Clark, who scored 30 points mm -hmm. in the loss, will not have a title yeah. under her belt. And she's graduating. She's declared for the WNBA draft. It just, she, that sucks. Is she the goat of college basketball? Yeah, yeah. They're talking all Regardless over. Regardless of her not nah, having Nah, they're talking about all of her Mad Dog sports. She needs a title. No, 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 no. She's still, no, no. It's hard. It's a team game. Can I give you one example? Team game. Can I give you one example? Team game. <laughs> so it's all, almost all of team sports. Mm -hmm. But Dan Marino. Okay. Dan Marino will forever lead records in many Mm. aspects. Mm -hmm. But because he never won a Super Bowl, people don't put him in the GOAT cate category. Well, they should after Ace Ventura. He was amazing well, that, in that. Uh, you got that right. I mean, he is he is a phenomenal I'll actor. I'll give you that one. He stole that movie. <laughs> Back in 1994. Team game. Uh, Team game. In the NBA, Sunday, mm -hmm. tomorrow, mm -hmm. it's the last day of the regular season. Yeah. Then we get ready to pl the, for the play-in tournament. Yeah. Uh, Golden State is heating up right now. It's Golden State and the Lakers are nine and ten. You can't and sleep on either of those teams. One of them is it's going to be 
interesting because I think that even though they're nine and ten, they're mm-hmm. going to be in the play-in tournament. Yeah, one of them could take the whole thing. Yeah, it's funny. I think Golden State's won nine of their last ten or something like that. By the time we're recording this, I'm telling you, uh, Golden State's going to be sneaky. Yeah. So when Steph decides to turn it on, yeah, it, it'll be interesting. But the two of them are it's still Denver if, in the play-in. Denver. Could it be the Timberwolves here? They're not even practicing right now. Denver, no. Okay, <laughs> they're just like whatever. We'll just meet at the. We'll meet at the. St- they don't even. They're not, they don't have a team bus. <laughs> they just meet no. at the game. God, yeah, I'll see you guys there. It's like 15 minutes before the game. Is everybody here? You know, where's Jokic? <laughs> oh, I don't know. He'll be here. You know, it's all right. And in NHL, the regular season ends Thursday, April 18th. Canadian teams who have now clinched a playoff spot. Yeah. Uh, in the East, the Leafs. That's it. Okay. Uh, but they're in. All Don't right. worry. They'll do what the Leafs always do. Okay. Losing the first round? Don't. No, they actually won the first round matchup last year for oh. the first time in So they're losing the second round. They'll lose in the second round. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, and in the West, we got Vancouver, mm-hmm. Edmonton, but now Winnipeg's clinched a playoff spot. Hello. So we at least have four Canadian teams in the NHL playoffs. The most realistic shot at winning a Stanley Cup, yeah. I'd say, is Vancouver. Vancouver is is pretty good. Really? Yeah, I think they're leading the West. I didn't know that. Yeah. I don't follow hockey, but uh, Winnipeg's coming. Hopefully people go to the game now. Yeah. If Winnipeg can do well, mm. draw crowds, make money, maybe they could, you know, save this whole franchise from folding. That would be great. Also rumors going around. I don't yeah. know if you have this written down or not. No, I don't. That the Arizona Coyotes. Yeah. Are going to be moving to Salt Lake City, Utah. So they're going from <laughs> a desert city mm-hmm. to a Mormon city. Yep. That's, yeah, I think hockey. <laughs> that's uh, although Utah has the Jazz. It's like I, so, I think it's like a done deal. Really? I think so. Interesting. I think so. Okay. Yeah. I what whatever gets people interested in hockey. Just saying. Okay. Uh, in golf, the Masters started on Thursday, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, John Rahm, mm-hmm. who won last year, mm-hmm. is a plus 1,200 to repeat. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't have information at the time of recording about the cut, mm-hmm. uh, but hopefully Tiger Woods mm-hmm. makes the cut. He is he wants to win one more. He's healthy yeah. enough, he said. Yeah. So he's playing, and his odds are 50, plus 15,000. So I throw a hundo on that. Throw a hundo on that. Throw a hundo on that. You never know. It's it's Tiger. If he does, Tiger. If he wins it, he he would just throw the club in the air and just go. I'm out. (laughs) Keep your green jacket. I got four of them. (laughs) Yeah. All I know is, as of the time of recording, yeah, it's a very rainy, cloudy. It's been pretty rainy. Crappy day, first day of Augusta. But if Tiger can win it, that'd be cool. That's it. That'd be really cool. He's like the best athlete ever. Uh, NFL, the draft is less than two weeks away. Yeah. And right now, all the talk isn't about quarterbacks. It's about Justin Jefferson. Yeah. What are the Vikings going to do? Are they going to pay him or mm. trade him before the draft? <sighs> what is the, what is your gut telling you? Honestly, I would trade him. Yeah. Get some, get some picks. Your team's garbage now. You can get a whole, you can get three first round picks is what I, yeah. people are saying. Get three first round picks, trade them. You don't want to pay them. You don't have the money. We actually have the money to pay them now, Yeah. but you don't want to pay them. Get the picks and, and just rebuild. So the other option is you, pay, he's going to be pissed if you sign him. you, you pay him. Yeah. Right. The other option is you pay him and then you use your, whatever you got to draft picks, whatever to move up and get, a quarterback. But you're still getting a rookie quarterback. You're getting a rookie quarterback, yeah. but look how well CJ Stroud played. Last look how year. well Trey Lance did. <laughs> Flip of the coin. You never, you never <laughs> I'm know. just saying. You never know. I'm just saying, yeah. you know, or uh, what's his face? Um, uh, oh, Will Bryce, Levis. Bryce Young. Bryce Young. Will, Will Levis. Levis. I don't mind Will Levis. I'm just saying, they're putting get in- some draft capital, yeah. start rebuilding your team. And I just want to say something right now. And okay. I, don't, I don't want this to come across wrong. I got draft fatigue. Okay. It's all we talk about. Because there's no games yet. I know, but who cares? <laughs> Find something else to talk about. Like, it's just draft, 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 projected draft, fantasy draft, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, I'm so tired of it. But after the draft, then we'll yeah. talk about 
then which, we'll then we'll talk about what happened at the draft. Yeah, it's going to be like it's things it's, that could have happened. It's at the two draft. months of like what this that projected this. Why didn't they do this? Why did they do this? I'm just like, oh. but unlike yeah. you, yeah. I'm excited about the draft. I am not. I will be watching the. Draft. I don't care. Off season moves. Uh, the Jags finally paid Pro Bowl linebacker uh, with the same name as the Buffalo Bills quarterback, yep. Josh Allen. That kind of bothers me. Uh, that they have the same name. Yeah, it just and freaks it's me out. Spelt the same. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember when they played each other? That was yeah. really funny. Allen versus Allen. Josh Allen tackled Josh Allen. Yeah. Uh, they gave him a hundred and fifty million dollar five year deal, mm. eighty eight million guaranteed. He's actually a a very good player. Oh, he's a great player yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. Also, the NFL to end the show. The NFL announced my Eagles are going to face your Packers the day after the Thursday opener on a Friday in Sao Paulo, Brazil. This is so dumb. Uh, a Friday night game, September 6th. Uh, NFL says, too, that they're going to play Christmas Day, regardless of it being a Wednesday. Yeah. Like, NFL is just trying to own... Every single day of the week. I have no problem with the Christmas Day games because yeah. the NBA games have gotten pretty boring lately. Yeah, that's true. So I'm fine with that. So what's wrong with the Friday game? I'm fine in with the Brazil. Friday game if it was in Lambo, but I... I, I no? No, because the fields are never NFL quality and players get hurt. That's very true. What if Jordan Love... And week one hurts himself week one in Brazil. What if Jalen Hurts hurts himself? No, don't even talk like that. Well, what was I say? <laughs> the fields are never up to NFL quality. Players are going to get hurt. I hope not. I hope not. I'm looking forward to it. They got to look out for the Bulls running across the damn field. That will happen. That's going to be halftime. That will happen. Halftime, it's going to be like... <laughs> Nothing but Bulls. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> That's very possible. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to What's Poppin'. Episode 24 is in the books. You guys tell us in the comments what was your favorite part of the show. We want to take this opportunity to thank our Patreons. If you want to join as a member, you can do so at Patreon slash Kdog and Fish. Sign up and get exclusive content, lives, and more. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Fish. Kdog. <laughs> we'll see you again soon.